Hello everybody, welcome back to JJ's PC Builds. Today we're going to do a little hardware news for you all, so if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And welcome all the new subscribers that we got, welcome back to JJ's PC Builds. And thank you for subscribing. And veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you. And for all that you do, and, you know, watching the videos, telling your friends. Hopefully y'all are out there telling your friends, your family, your cousins, your uncles, and everybody to come on down to JJ's PC Builds and sign on up. Subscribe. It's free. You know, it helps build the channel. We want to we want to be able to get monetized so we can do more. Just let you know. But... Let's get on with the hardware news. Okay, so I pulled up some articles. Just let you all know. I got an article that's right in front of my face. I pulled it up. It was on from Tom's Hardware. The alleged prices of AMD's RX 7700 and RX 7800 leak. Okay, now I haven't covered much on the AMD, the 7700, and the 7800 because I wanted to see how far it was really going to go. But it says now we got a rough performance, a, a rough performance of AMD's upcoming Radeon RX 7700 and Radeon RX 7800 graphics cards. We are left wondering about the prices. We're, you know, that's nothing new. They've been kind of hiding the prices, just like NVIDIA did with uh, the, the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte. But anyway, that's not a hide. You know, he done, they done put that out there, but obviously they let nobody review it because they probably think it, they're probably in their mind, they think it sucks. But anyway, back to this news. You know, <laughs> um, if the number of leak by all the watts, a tweet, a tweet, a tweeter, hmm, and they need to fix that up, but that has a very spotty record are correct, then AMD is considered rather than curious, rather considering a curious pricing strategy now. And meanwhile, the since these boards seem to be weeks away take the information with a grain of salt so basically you know i'm going to take the information with a grain of salt but you never know things could change and everything else everybody you never know amd's always got something up their sleeve so we'll see okay according to expectations Made by all the watts. I guess that's the person leaking the information. AMD recommended the price for its Radeon RX 7700 will be $449. The more powerful Radeon RX 7800 will carry a $549 suggested price tag. Oh, that's interesting to know. Hmm. This was done on uh, July 19, 2023, that this was posted, and, you know, 7700 looks like, you know, it, they give they give a little bit of a 3D mark uh, time spy, average maximums, you know, they're saying the RX 7700 it got a score of 15,465 with the MSRP of 449. Now the RX 7800 is supposed to do 18,179 or 197, my bad, for 549. Wow. So, but you know, the RX 6800 XT, it does between 17,098 through 24934 at $520. Then the RX 6800 non-XT does 14503 through 
20,239 at an MSRP of 450. This is what they're claiming. Okay, the RX 6700 XT does 11,970 through 15,087 with an MSRP of 330. Very interesting to see. Now, they say the GeForce RTX, now we're into the GeForce, they say the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti does 20,437 to 25,898 for $799. That's U.S. prices, just to let you know that. Okay, now the G, GeForce RTX 4070 does 16,372 to 21,065 for an MSRP of $600, which is true. But, you know, you know the thing is, is they're doing this with Time Spy. You know, the thing is this, they're telling, you know, about the R, RTX 4070. Well, you know, the thing is this. This is going to be something different for you all. I'm going to look it up. And I already got the scores that are on my RTX 4070. And I'm going to see if it matches with what they're saying. Just to be curious. I, I got a curious nose. Okay. So they're saying... 16,372. Hmm. Curious nose. Mine says 15,912. So, just to give you that helpful hint, mine was undervolted when I did it, so I guarantee it'll probably do what they're saying. So, just, just a little bit of a hint, you know, as I take a look through that. But they say the 4060 Ti 8GB does 12836 to the maximum of 15000 for $400. And this is lowest price at Newegg. So this is suggested price at Newegg, you know. So based on the recent leak 3D Mark Time Spy scores, AMD Radeon RX 7700 beats NVIDIA's RTX 4060 Ti. And the Radeon RX 6700 XT. This is only one bench, and you will have no idea how the product performs in other games. Which is true, you won't, because you haven't sampled what the product is. Anyhow, the big question is whether a $50 premium over the GeForce RTX 4060 Ti and a $119 premium over the Radeon RX 6700 XT is justified. At least based on its performance in 3D Mark Time Spy. Okay, that is a good question. Okay, now, if they're suggesting these scores, which you don't know, I mean, you don't know, I don't know, we don't know. Okay, this is just leaked information they have about this. Okay, so there's no facts that are supporting this claim right at this time. But... If it does roll that way, you, at least I'm telling you what, what's going to happen. At least I'm giving you a heads up information. Just to let you know. Not saying if it's going to or it's not. You know, I'm not setting that judgment down. I know it's a leak and I know I shouldn't, you know. But I think you all need to know, you know, if a leak comes out, you know. I kind of thought about this and I thought to myself, well, if leaks come out, you know, it'd be good for the subscribers to know what kind of leaks are coming out. Because this gives you an advantage to have a heads up to what could be coming in the future. So, in case you're thinking about buying something, this gives you a heads up to look forward to that in the future. But like I'm telling you right now, if you got a PC that's built, if you got a PC that has, you know, AM4, let's say, um, 
Zen 3 technology, the 5000 series or greater, or if you're, if you're uh, Intel, this is just processor. If you're Intel, you're up to Gen 12 or greater. Okay, and you're rocking, let's say you're rocking a 30 series um, graphics card or you're rock, rocking, uh, that's from NVIDIA, if you're rocking a 6000 series graphics card from AMD, you know, which plays games just the way you want and does everything you want for right now, hold the phone, sit tight. Because with them coming out with some new stuff, it's going to drive the price of the stuff that they put out not too long ago. It's going to drive that price down a little bit. So do remember, every time they come out with something new, it drives down that, that last-gen prices. So try to sit tight and don't go compulsive buying just yet. Because AMD, I have a feeling, is going to pull the same thing that NVIDIA is pulling. Since their family, that's leaked, that the AMD head chief and the NVIDIA head chief are family. That was leaked back about maybe a couple weeks ago. I never covered it because I didn't think it was a true story because I didn't see anybody progress with the story. So we don't know. It could be just a leak and just a story. But, you know, I have to take that in consideration when I'm doing this information because what if they're teamed up and we don't know it and they're just trying to do a cash grab. So... You know, that's kind of something that's in my mind, too. But, you know, I'm not going to put all my chickens into that basket just yet. Because I'm not. if I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But it could be that it gets leaked out or, you know, information comes about. And what if it is true? So, don't forget your soda and your snacks, too. So that's the information you have to take into consideration. I mean, there's a lot of things going on in the, the in the PC world, just to let you know. So I'm I'm gonna put I'm gonna bet that, you know, with the new with the new Navi 32 graphic card processors, they're gonna have you know, the seven the seventy seven hundred is supposed to have up to thirty eight and thirty eight hundred and forty streaming processors, you know. I mean and the seventy they're thinking the seventy eight hundred series might have the same or it might have greater, you never know. So as far as that information being leaked, that's fine with me. You know, because if it comes down to it all, and I want you all to understand that, when it comes down to it all, if these new graphics cards come out, and if they come out and they're good as gold, then I'm sure everybody's going to be standing in line waiting to get their hands on one. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I had to go back through my video just to look at it and, you know, hold the phone for one moment. I'm going to explain this. Okay, I'm going to look at something. I'm going to go to the action screen real quick. Okay, now from what I see here is the Navi 32, the 7700 XT, is supposed to be 3,456 cores. And that's supposed to be... 216 TMUs, 128 ROPs, 12 gigabytes of VRAM, GDR6, and at 192 bit. Now it says the RX 7800, I guess this is the XT or what, or just the 7800, it's supposed to be Navi 32, 3840 cores, 
240 TMUs, 128 ROPs, 16 gigabytes of VRAM. That's sounding almost familiar, but it's not. If you notice, the, there are different TMUs, okay? But the 7800 has a 256-bit bus with GDR6. Now, is there anything special about it? They're both PCIe 4.0, X16. Yep, they're unreleased yet, so this is just going through, and I'm going through Tech Power Up just to see what they had leaked to them. Okay, so, you know, you can get more information from Tech Power Up. I know it's just relative information. I know it's not exact, the actual exact, but looking at it, I can tell you the bandwidth on both of these graphics cards, oh my goodness, that is just spectacular looking at it. I mean, I'm not boosting it up or anything. I'm just breaking into the video real quick because I said something on the video that it wasn't, you know, fully clear with you all. So I'm bringing it fully clear with you all right here and now that the one that has the 3,000... What did it say? The 3,840 cores was the 7,800. Now the 7,700 has 3,456. Just to be clear, so let's go ahead and get back to the video. And I do apologize for cutting in, but I didn't have much of a choice. So I wanted to make sure the information was accurate. So let's get back to the video. But until we get some definite we get some definite benchmarks i'm not going to put all my eggs into that basket just yet until either i get my hands on it and it comes across my bench and i benchmark it you know or i get you know eardrum from a couple friends to let me know what they think about, you know, they got their hands on it or however that's going to work. But I can tell you, if it's not good, I'm going to tell you. If it's good, I'm going to tell you. So either way, good or bad, I'm going to tell you. But until I see them coming to the market, I'm not going to put all my eggs into the basket until I see them getting ready to bring it to the market. Okay, now that's what I happened when I when I was looking at the information AMD had about the 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 seventy eight fifty XT or the seventy eight fifty XTX that they had the higher process uh, the higher GPU processor in there that would have taken out you know a, you know Nvidia's um, forty ninety. In other news, it seems Hardware and Box has got their hands on a RTX 4060 Ti 16 gigabytes. Let's go ahead and take a look over and see what they got. But before that, Nvidia is claiming that the reason why the price of the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte is $100 more is because they had to change the PCB layout of the graphics card. So that way, you know, they can get 8 gigabytes on the top side and get 8 gigabytes on the bottom side. So with them having to change the layout, it was you know costly to them so they had to pretty much raise the cost of the from the 4060 ti 8 gigabyte they had to raise it up 100 bucks to the 16 gigabyte version but the question is going to be on everybody's mind did nvidia actually do that so if I had my hands, if it was me, if I had my hands on the 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte and the 16 gigabyte, I would take them both out and look at the boards and compare them to just see if 
there's a lot of truth to that fact now if the 8 gigabyte matches the same thing as the 16 gigabyte but on back back side of the 8 gigabyte board doesn't have the the um the ram that's on the back there the ram chips so then they really didn't change the layout this was more or less like their pr ploy to tell everybody this is the reason why they went up a hundred bucks more knowing they only probably spent twenty dollars worth of chips so that might be a question that's out there that everybody wants to reveal to see if it's true or false i'm sure later on down the road we'll hear something about it like i said i get my hands on it i'm going to tear them apart i'm going to see if they both are the same or they're different but let's get let's get on to what hardware and box uncovered and we're going to give you a couple splash screens of their uh their benchmarkings and i'll link their video description their video down in the description below so that way y'all can watch the full video so let's go ahead and get to it and let's go over to the action screen okay so the problem as it so often is is the piddly 128 bit wide memory bus you see gddr6 memory chips require a 32 bit memory controller and with a 128 bit bus it means that four of these memory chips can be used. For 8GB capacity, NVIDIA had to use four double density 2GB chips, but for a 16GB capacity, they can't simply use 4GB GDDR6 chips because they don't exist. Rather, what they've had to do is use Micron's clamshell configuration, which basically requires a complete PCB redesign. Now, the clamshell configuration allows for the use of two memory modules on a single 32 bit memory controller. But this configuration doesn't allow all of the chips to be placed on the front side of the PCB, rather half of the chips are positioned on the back side of the PCB, directly adjacent to the chips on the front side, hence the clamshell name. Now when asked about why the 16GB version of the 4060Ti costs $100 US more than the standard 8GB model, NVIDIA told us that the clamshell method of expanding memory is quite complicated and therefore costly. So that coupled with the cost of four additional two gigabyte chips is how they got to $100 US. Seems a little far-fetched to us, but in any case, Nvidia is charging $500 US for the 16 gigabyte version of the RTX 4060 Ti, and that's likely going to be a major problem for this product. So there you have it. You got the bench, you know, the thoughts on, you know, their thoughts about this. My thoughts are about the same, but still it comes to the fact, like I told you all, did, you know, when, when somebody opens up the 8 gigabyte version and the 16 gigabyte version, I'm sure they're going to compare the two boards and make sure that NVIDIA's claim is solid. So I'm sure they're going to do that. But looking at the six, he's put out the 15 game average. It looks like the 4060 Ti has on the high side, 116 FPS on the high side average and 92 on the low. So with the eight gigabyte version, it's not too far behind it. But like I told you all, there's there's a little bit of, a, if they change the boards, there's gonna be a little bit of a difference. So it might be an improvement or it might be a disprovement. But as far as, you know, the way it's rolling right now, the, they're faster than the 6700 XT, which was at 103. So looking at the average, probably they're about maybe eight, eight to 9% faster in the 6700 XT and way more faster than the 7600 with having the average at on the 7600 at 88 on the high and 71 on the low. So, but for the 4070, the RTX 4070, he's got it at the high of 143 FPS 
and down on the low at 112 still about 25 to 27 percent maybe faster maybe more the best way to find out if it's faster or slower is to take your calculator out and I know you all love me when I do the calculator so you look at you know you got 116 right so I'm gonna do 143 and I'm gonna minus the 116 on the high side oh. so that that gives me about a 27 27 point lead so I'll tell you what that's kind of a big lead when it comes compared to the two so that's on the high side so it's 27 in a lead on the high side and if we're looking at it we're gonna be looking at the low side now let's see the 16 gigabyte uh, uh, let's see we got it right here we got it 92 so and we got it 112 so well, let's see 112 minus I know I do everything like differently than everybody else but I want I want to make sure that you know well it's still it's still given a 20 per, 20% uplift I mean looking at it you know I mean for the hundred dollars the hundred dollars more going from the 10 the 40 40 60 ti to the 4070 the 16 gigabyte to the 4070 and you say 27 so we divide that by 27 and you know that's still given you know part it's three it's probably about 370 375 more on that but looking at like I told you before when you go and you go like this I mean differences is you got 27 percent uplift right when it comes to the 4060 16 gigabyte and the the, the 4070 I still for the price with the 20 the 20 percent uplift 20 to 27 percent I still think that the 4070 is a better deal at 599 but do remember they have been bringing it down the 4070 down and doing spot sales and everything else and bringing the price down so in average I did see it go down to like about what was it um, 536 bucks so look at it this way if you're paying $500 for a 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte right and you go and you see the 4070 but it's only 36 bucks more you know and you get it on a sale guess what you're getting 27 percent more uplift with the 4070 than you are the 4060 ti 16 gigabyte now having all that ram 16 gigabytes of ram didn't do it much justice when it came to time for benchmarking because the 4070 still came 27 percent higher on the high and 20% on the low it's over 20% higher than this 4060 ti 16 gigabyte so it still takes a big jump for that hundred dollars more you know to go from that point to that point if you look at it from that point to that point it's looking like that it's a better deal going with the 4070 now all the jumps in between every going from 4060 to 4060 ti to the 4070 to the 4080 it all looks like it's 20 percent or higher jump in between all those sections so 
and my thought about this is that they're just adding a hundred dollars more to give a hundred a hundred dollars more to each one for you know an uplift for you to get more of an uplift so if you look at it in truth and reality that it now the 40 the rtx 4070 does not look that bad i mean it really doesn't it really doesn't look that bad at all so make sure you go to hardware and box and check their video out you know make sure you check their video out and that way you know you can see the full thing i'm not going to show you the full thing but i'm just giving you their opinion a little clip of their opinion and their be average benchmarks overall from 15 games i know it's not the full deal or anything else but it's something but my opinion my opinion on this is that like i said the better deal looking at it is the rtx 4070 i mean it might have 12 gigabytes of ram true true but for 100 bucks more to get 20 to 20 7 percent uplift that's not bad neither if you if you think about it it's not really that bad neither so the 4070 would have a better advantage than the 4060 ti creator i bet you creator work and you know i can tell you creator work it's not bad at all on my personal experience with the 4070 it's not bad at all i mean i'm able to play a lot of the games i want to play I'm able to do creator work. I'm able to play OpenGL games, you know, DirectX games. You know, it, do, it does it all. Falcon games. So, you know, is when it comes down to it, the 4070 is just going to be a better choice than the 4060 Ti 16 gigabytes. Four gigabytes is not going to make a difference. When it comes to playing games, four gigabytes is not going to make a difference because when you can adjust your adjust your uh your graphics settings to meet with the graphics card you got it's not really going to matter the graphics card's still going to give you what you want if you adjust it down so it doesn't use so much vram then you know what you're still going to have a great game play that is just my opinion now the don't get me wrong the numbers are looking pretty good on the 4060 Ti 16 gigabytes compared to the 4060 Ti 8 gigabytes. They're looking a lot better, a lot cleaner, especially with them doing a bit of updates and stuff. So that way, you know, it runs smoother and, and stuff like that. I've been hearing, you know, a little bit of glitching that was going on because of the, the driver series. It happens with every manufacturer. They're going to have glitches. They got to go in there and fix them and so on. So do expect a little bit of glitching until they have it fully fixed. But from what I'm hearing, they just got a little bit of glitches here and there. So it's not too bad. So, but if, you know, you're, let's say you got $800 to spend, right? Just a scenario. You got eight hundred dollars to spend. Guess what? You want to buy yourself a graphics card, but have enough for a decent processor. Well, if you bought the forty sixty Ti sixteen gigabyte, then you can buy that with a decent processor, like maybe if you're going um, AMD, like the seventy seven hundred or so on. But you got to remember, you still got to get the AM five series motherboard the ram you know and have make sure you got a decent ssd m.2 drive you know you gotta remember you got all that stuff you gotta put together in a hole okay i can tell you doing if you did a 4060 ti 16 gigabyte with a decent amd motherboard and a decent um decent processor with some decent ram you're probably looking at between a thousand to twelve to maybe fifteen hundred dollars just to put all that together if you're buying 
you know, starting from scratch and, you know, you're buying the case, the fans, the power supply, the keyboard, the mouse, the monitor, the whole 900 yards, you're looking at close to about $2,500 to $3,000 to get a very good, decent gaming system. I mean, a, a really decent one. But if you're looking to stay in the AM4 series, then you might as well look at a little less of a price because, you know, it is a little bit cheaper on the AM4 series since they're starting to phase out the AM4 series. In time, it would just completely fizzle out. But that does not mean it won't work in the future. Now, I have the 5700X, the Ryzen 7 5700X AM4 series. I have the B550 motherboard, the Asus Strix, B550A, and believe it or not, I know with the power supply I have, a 750 watt power supply, I have six fans, I have a decent air cooler for the, the, the processor, got decent air cooling on the, the graphics card, the RTX 4070. You know, that whole system right here, if if I were to look at it, I would have paid $400, $400 about $4, $450 for the processor, the RAM, the motherboard, just in those things. $600 for the graphics card, and for the rest, probably about $100, $150. So yeah, between a thousand and twelve hundred dollars would it would have got me you know got me an AM4 system that's medium in the medium section of you know being able to do 1080p, 1440p, and to do maybe some 4K. But I can do 1440p on this, and I can do 1080p. So I do have two good options that I look at. I don't really look at 4K because I don't have a 4K monitor. I only have 1080p right now. So I have two 1080p monitors. That's all I really need because, you know, the way I see the graphics, I really don't see much of a change going from 1080p to 1440p. I mean, when you're playing a game, you're not looking at the, the, the details, too much of the details. You're just looking to win the game. That's the whole idea. But as far as, you know, what, you know, going from scene to scene to scene, that would be a little bit different story. But I really don't have that problem with this uh, RTX 4070. So, but for 500 bucks, the 4060 Ti, like hardware and box said, you know, it's really not at a great value. It's not something they would, you know, recommend to somebody to buy, just to say. That's the reason why NVIDIA didn't roll out, um, roll out testing for the reviewers. They didn't roll out anything. They basically just didn't say anything about it and let the board partners put out whatever they want, and that was it. And they were lucky... Hardware box was to get their hands on the 4060 Ti 16 gigabytes. So it looks like NVIDIA is not too proud of their card. So, you know, this is going to be a little bit of a long video just to let you know because I got other parts to this video. So it's going to be like I'm making one large video this time because we're doing the news. We're doing an, uh, an, a PC news updates basically don't forget about your drink and your snacks like normal so yes this video I'm gonna kind of piece together I, I told you all I wasn't gonna I was gonna do it all in one shot but this came about this morning so I'm carrying the video from last night to this morning so this way I can give you all one big bundle package of, you know, what I got cooking. So y'all are going to see this. Hopefully you watch it to the end and that would be appreciated. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut back into the other video. Just to let you know this. See, I'm letting you know everything that's going on. But I wanted to let you know the news right here about the 4060 Ti. Make sure you guys down in the description below, down below, 
Make sure you uh, click on the link to their video. Give them a thumbs up and all that. And, you know, high fives for the video they did. They did a great job, you know, getting that information out. I couldn't get my hands on a 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte. I couldn't get my hands on it. I couldn't even get my hands on the 8 gigabyte. It's kind of rough when I'm down in the south side of California because you really don't have that much option getting hardware, you know, PC hardware down here. You pretty much got to order it and it takes a week to three weeks and a month. So, you know, by the time I would have got it, everybody would have had the reviews out. So, you know, I kind of looked at it and like, is it really going to be worth spending the money just to get it, you know, to do a review on it since, you know everybody's not really recommending it so you know but i was able to get some news on it you know i and i and like i said i'm gonna bring the news to you <laughs> all right let's go ahead and cut back in the video and do enjoy your day well there you have it you got my straw in the way <laughs> Well, there you have it. You have the news of the day about the 7700 from AMD, the 7800, the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte. I know I said I wasn't going to do any more on it, but the news came in and I didn't have much of a choice. I had to do something on it. For the simple fact, there's not much news on it, so I figure I'm going to bring it to you. And make sure, again, with the video, you know, hardware unbox video, make sure you all watch it and give them a positive like on it. They would appreciate it. Um, but all in all, from what I've seen, you know, looks like they got three new GPUs, got maybe two on the way, got one out already, you know. There's not much more I can say on it, but I'm sure further down the road when we get more information about it and more people testing it and hopefully maybe someday I'll get my hands on it. We can do our analysis on it as well. You know, just remember, you know, it's always good to have just a little bit of here and there and everywhere. Okay, what I mean by that is, is when you're trying to get your hardware and you have a tough time getting hardware, especially being a YouTube channel. Now, it's hard to get it here because it's such a distance from everywhere else. So basically where I'm at, I'm very far away from a good, decent um, computer store. They really don't have any good computer stores here. Nothing at all, really. If you look at Best Buy, I'm sorry, Best Buy, but the thing is, is, you know, your computer section looks more or less like a little, a little section you use for your car stereos, just to say. You know, you know, inside the store, you know, that's like one thing. But, you know, when you got everything plastered into the Internet, Everybody goes on to the internet. Nobody really goes to going inside stores anymore. So I can understand why you don't do that. But anyway. All right, everybody. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to JJ's PC Built. And all my veteran subscribers, thank you for all the love and support you've shown us on the channel. It is much appreciated, all that support. But until the next time, and I mean the next time, and the next video, this is JJ on JJ's PC Builds. We will see you on the next one.